editing. So, hey everybody, it's Sunday and it's time for things that make you go mmm. And today we're talking about flirting. And flirting is something that can be super fun, it can also be a little over the top, a little disconcerting if someone isn't doing it well or <laughs> thinks they're, you know, all this in a bag of chips and they're really not. So uh, we're going to talk about what are some of the best practices with flirting, what are some of the ways that can make you be more appealing when you are flirting. And I want to start with a quote from my favorite lady, Mae West, in the Bad Kitty Handbook. <laughs> right hand, right hand, right hand is better. Uh, and, and she's one of my favorite bad kitties. She is ballsy, she's fun, she's brave, and she said, this is one of my favorite quotes, I believe that it's better to be looked over than it is to be overlooked. And I love that one because I've felt overlooked so much in my life. And it feels really great when someone pays attention to you in a good way, of course, in a way that's respectful and gives you a boost of self-esteem. And that's, kind of, that's what flirting's all about. Before we talk about what flirting, what some of the ways to flirt are, I want to talk about six types of flirting. The first one is, of course, when you want to have sex and you find someone super attractive and you want to get in their pants and we've all done it or we've had it done to us uh, because that's one way to show someone you're interested physically interested with them to of them to them of them whatever <laughs> whatever that proper phrase is the second one is for fun uh it can be just really a joy and um just fun to be with someone and make them feel better by flirting with them. And some people treat it like a sport or um, a competition. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about, you know, you see someone, uh, I remember once I was at a conference with a friend of mine and we were looking for the elevator to get to the lookout in this hotel, and similar to the Chateau Lacombe, if you're familiar with the uh, ro rotating restaurant in Edmonton, where you had to go get on a special elevator to get up to this, this special restaurant so you could look out on, over the city. And uh, there was this really cute guy in the lobby, so I just went up to him and I just very friendly asked him where the, uh, where the elevator was and we kind of exchanged a couple of little quips with each other and then I moved on. And my friend said, you just flirted with that guy. I'm like, yeah. She said, you're in a relationship. I'm like, so? <laughs> we were just having a little fun and making each other feel good by with, by with a little bit of attention. The next one is exploring. So if you're practicing your flirting, that would be the exploring phase. So if you're not very comfortable with it, if you're ex uh, creating some new skills, that would be the exploring kind of flirting. Relational. So when you're in a relationship and you want to bump up the intimacy, like we were talking last week about passion and keeping passion in a relationship, flirting is one way to do that. The next one is esteem. It makes you feel better. It makes the other person feel better. And everybody just walks away going, because mm, they had a, a nice little encounter. The last one is one that is less mm e, which is instrumental. And that's when you are um, flirting to get something. So if you're a salesperson and you're flirting with your uh, with your customer, or you're uh, a lot of uh, get, I'm not sure if it's true, but they say I've heard or I've seen in TV shows and things like that. They talk about or they uh, portray people who do pharmaceutical sales as being super flirty and uh, trying to get the doctors to buy things that way. And uh, so that would be, I would say the less, the least desirable way to flirt because because it's becoming um, manipulative 
and we don't want that. We want the flirting to be happy and joyful and a way to connect with someone else. There's also a difference between charm and flirting. Uh, charm is when you are, uh, you're just great with everybody and everybody's like, oh, they're so sweet, they're so nice, they're so charming. And often flirting is part of that. And then there's also the, the just the flirts and you're just like, ah, yeah, that guy who flirts with everybody, <laughs> tries to get in everybody's pants or she. And so there's a fine line between it. And what I'd like to propose is that we use our flirting to be charming, not to be manipulative or um, disrespectful to other people. So let's talk about some ways to do that. And the first is eye contact. So like I'm trying to do right now by looking in the camera <laughs> is make eye contact with you. And eye contact is very, very important with any kind of communication. And flirting, of course, being communication, that's part of it. And also scanning. So if you are attracted to someone, you're checking them out. So that is one of the most basic ways to flirt is with your eye contact and scanning the person that you're talking to. Uh, and also eye contact can attract someone to you, like if you're across the room or in a, at a party, in, on a dance floor, anything like that, and you make eye contact with someone that shows your interest. And so that is a way to bring you together so that you can have a conversation and and flirt a little bit with that other person. The next one is initiate conversation. So start with a question, start with a compliment, which is sincere. No cheesiness, keep it PG, you know, no, <laughs> you know don't go straight to complimenting something about uh, their, their um, uh, extraneous features that you may want to be touching later and be specific so you want to get started with a conversation in a way that invites them in that makes them feel special that uh, makes them makes you both want to communicate more so let's talk a little bit more about Mae West and another quote of hers uh, which is he who hesitates is a damned fool. So if you really want to talk to someone, to flirt with someone, just do it. Don't hold yourself back. Don't worry about it. Just, just jump in with both feet. Uh, next is remember details. So when you're talking, that's basic communication. Uh, remember details about the stories that they tell, the, the, um, the situations, the names, all of those little things will are part of flirting because it shows that you're interested and that you're paying attention. Another one, of course, as we've talked about before, laughing, making them laugh, making them uh, laughing with them, not at them. <laughs> and uh, that that smile, that joy, that um, back and forth is part of flirting. Next is your body language. Your body language is extremely important with flirting. And the first thing is to make sure that you're dead on with someone. Uh, I've noticed with myself, when I really want to get out of a conversation, I'm really bad uh, at par in parties because I'm terrible at it. At it. I'm getting better at initiating conversation, but I'm still really bad at ending a conversation. So I will start turning myself at like a 45 degree angle to the person trying to extricate myself from the situation. So in contrast, putting yourself bang on with someone face to face is the position for flirting because you want to let them know that you're interested by being in that physical uh, um, position. And also, you want to um, mirror them 
and that's that's a sales technique as well and i find that when i'm doing uh sales i don't even notice that i'm mirroring and all of a sudden i'm like oh i'm standing exactly the same way <laughs> as this person because it's a way to show them that you're connected and uh, it can be a little hard to get used to it may feel really false at first but eventually you'll get to that spot the place where it just comes naturally you'll automatically put your hand on your hip when the other person puts their hand on their hip or tilt their head or all of those little little things and that is a subconscious way of showing that you're connected and that you're listening and that you're paying attention and that they are important and finally another way uh, with body language is to lean in just that little tiny bit whether you are at a table or standing just positioning yourself so that you're getting just that little bit closer so that they can tell that you are wanting to get closer and get more mm, out of this, this situation and this interaction and also with body language is touching so there there's two ways to do it of course you can touch yourself so i've heard people say you know touch where you want to be touched but let's not go there that's a little too too much i think um you know if you want to have an intimate relationship with someone you don't want to be touching you know your your bits while you're talking so but you can um you know touch your hair maybe touch the side of your face uh i i read this thing once about being sensual and it said if you want someone to really notice you um it was touch the side of your face across your jaw down your neck across your chest and back up and i thought i was at a um a bar and my friend had gone to the bathroom so i thought well i'm just going to try this and i was concentrating on you know what these this um the 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 the, the order <laughs> what to, how to do this and the next thing i know i look up and someone's watching this guy was watching me from across the bar and i was like oh wow that really does work so maybe not let's, let's, let's just back off on that a little bit uh, i guess i was not interested in meeting this person but so those little things uh, you may not want to be that elaborate with it but just those little things of you know um even touching you know while you're you know talking you're like oh <laughs> i'm laughing and so i'm touching my chest is because i'm laughing and uh just doing those tiny little things to bring attention to your body and your 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 comfort with it and of course you can touch the other person as well we don't want to touch in a disrespectful fashion of course we want to keep it pg again and and uh, not cross any big boundaries but you know just touching someone's hand or taking their elbow um, just to show that you are you are wanting to be more connected with them and that you find them interesting is uh, is a very easy simple way to to flirt uh, finally confidence there is nothing sexier as we've talked about than confidence and showing that confidence in your flirting makes all the difference in the world which is why you may want to do the exploring kind of flirting where you're doing a little bit of practice because you're not entirely sure <laughs> what to do so practice with other people so that when you are talking to someone that you really want to get the attention of you will uh, be more more confident so your posture the way you speak the way you gesture and just your general presence create um, convey confidence and we don't want to be prideful or arrogant we just want to be confident in who we are and what we want and that will always make you go mm, and make the others around you go mm, as well and again miss may west is always my go-to and she says about and this is about confidence to me a man can be short and dumpy and getting bald but if he has fire women will like him and that's true of anybody 
you know, there's a lot of people out there that may not be maybe the best looking or make the most money or have the best job, drive the nicest car, but they just have this presence and this confidence about them that draws you to them no matter what. And uh, I have a friend like that, actually, you know, he's kind of short. He's got a he's very well built. <laughs> he's got a good body. Um, but there's just something about him that makes people want to get to know him because he's just exudes this confidence and he does he's got all of these pointers down like he is like mr master flirt and he's always got people interested in him whether it's work wise or friendship wise or lover wise he's always got it dialed in because he's confident so i'd like to close with a little bit from my novel serial love and this is a little scene where our heroine kathy is meeting alexi the cop for the first time and there's little bits of, of flirting in here so as i read it i hope you will be able to identify them and uh, and and see where where it came from ah all right I walked in and noticed him standing by the bar right away. My heart skipped a beat. I could see the definition of his muscles under his cl close fitting button up shirt. He was leaning on the bar, casually talking to the server and making her laugh when he noticed me. He nodded in my direction and I walked over. When I got a little closer, he asked sharply, what do you want? I was taken aback by his gruffness and took a moment to respond. I thought I saw impatience in his eyes. This was certainly off to a good start. Uh, crown and vodka, please. The server, server reluctantly <laughs> broke away and I settled into the stool near where she had been standing. I smiled and introduced myself, hoping, hoping to lighten things up. He sat and leaned in. Flirting. Well, that's a little better. Well, well, the lovely Kathy. I'm glad you can make it out. As he spoke, his eyes roamed the room. Uh-oh, bad news there. Only looking at me briefly. Okay, maybe not so much better. After several minutes of awkward conversation and after my drink arrived, Alexi seemed to settle in. His eye contact became more continuous, allowing me to enjoy his deep brown, thick lashed, dark rimmed orbs. These are the kind of eyes that women like me could get totally lost in. Even if he wasn't so tall and muscled with excellent bone structure, he'd still be easy to fall for. What do you do, Kathy? I snapped out of my reverie created by his eyes with some difficulty. I work in the city planner's office. Nothing very exciting. I'm stuck at my desk most of the time pushing paper. What about you? His eyes laughed a little, but his mouth was stayed stern. Can you, can't you guess from my profile name? I thought about it for a moment and uh, so his profile name on dating was arresting 911. I thought about it for a moment. His gruff demeanor suddenly made sense. A cop? You got it. He let a small smile play on his lips. I hope you're okay with that. It's a good job, but I can, it can be hard to meet people who are, well, normal, I guess. We laughed. When he smiled, his whole face changed. It became soft and open. His eyes sparkled and he had perfect straight white teeth. So laughter, smiling. We ordered chicken wings and he ordered another beer. As we chatted, I thought that chicken wings were terrible first date food as I struggled with the sticky sauce. I had been telling him about my separation and wanted to change the subject. Tell me more about being a cop. It must be fascinating. I just got promoted to detective recently. It's quite a change from being a beat cop, but I really like the challenge. He smiled and leaned forward, reached out, and wiped some sauce off my chin. He took my hand and kissed some sauce off my index finger. The soft touch of his full lips sent electricity up my arm. Maybe not such a bad date food after all. He swallowed his last wing and took a swing of, swig of beer. And we'll leave it there. So uh, Alexi and Kathy actually get to be quite close. And um, that's just the start of their relationship and their flirting from Serial Love.
So thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am so happy that you came out and spent a little a few minutes with me tonight. And I hope that you will take a look at thebadkitty.com, which is where you can find uh, my book, Serial Love. And you can also find it on Amazon, along with the Bad Kitty Handbook. And they're both available there in Kindle or print. And I hope you'll join me again next week for another edition of Things That Make You Go Mmm. I hope you're getting something out of it. And I really look forward to sharing more thoughts with you next week. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday. Stay sexy, everybody.